So again, on my last video, I picked open this four lever union lock. And it's a bit different, this one, because inside it's got the butters system lever configuration. And when I picked it open, I did it in a part of a door what I'd cut away. And then I also did it with a clear uh, polycarbonate front on so you could see the levers. But a guy called Tony says, it's a shame he didn't gut it. I'd like to see more of what's happening inside. So today I'm going to do a full gut on it and I'm going to have a look what's happening underneath them levers and just show you how this catch works. But before I do that, I'm going to go and clean it all up because it's a bit grotty. So I'm going to give it a good clean. I'm going to clean all this face plate up clean the bolt up and then we'll do a full detailed inspection on the levers. So the lock's all cleaned up but before we strip it apart I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to the Southampton Lock Picking Club because uh, I've asked people if they want to have their sticker in the background on that board to send me a sticker and not only did they send me a sticker they've sent me a cracking mug which will come in handy because I drink tea and coffee like there's no tomorrow so that's going in my garage in my workplace and they've also sent me a cool little key ring. So a big shout out to Southampton Lock Picking Club. And uh, yeah, anybody else, if you want to send a sticker to me, I'll put it on that uh, board in the background. Loads of room, so I'm going to hopefully fill it up with all your stickers. Anyway, back onto this. It's a beautiful thing, this is. I was cleaning uh, all the grease off it and all the paint started flaking off it. So basically, I've took most of the paint off it as well, but I think it looks pretty cool. I've cleaned all that plate up, look. So now you can see it better. Butter system, union, parks, wood and all, England. Yeah, so let's strip it apart and then we'll take all the levers out. Obviously, let me just uh, zoom out a bit. Obviously, if you're not interested in seeing inside, then it's not the video for you. I'm not picking it today. This was a request from Tony, so I'm going to strip it apart and just show you everything inside it. So let's put it on the table and I'll just take these uh, two screws out first. So we're going to gut this right down to the bare bones of it. So first of all, that's your front plate. And as you can see inside, there is a little bit of a lip when you're picking it, which makes it hard to get onto that lever because you've got that little lip there. That's your main plate. Like I say, I don't know much about these, but obviously there must have been another catch inside. And these are just blanking plates, so we can remove that. And we can remove that. And now we're onto the levers. Now what happens is, I'll show you more when I take the levers out, but basically, when you're picking this lock, all those levers with the notch there have to go in line because then that catch there will go into them. And then underneath this catch, you'll see it, there's like a little hook which hooks on the top of this. So when that goes in, that lifts up and the bolt comes out. So we'll just go through the levers one by one and then we'll have a look at the bolt at the back. So I've took it all apart, like I say, and I've cleaned all the levers up. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice inside there. So that's your first lever. And then between each lever, there's a spacer. So your second lever. Like I say, no false gates, not hard to pick, but just a cool lock, brilliant little system. And another spacer. And then your third lever. They clean up quite well. And then another spacer. Your final lever. Just get him out. There you go. So underneath your levers, this was the bit I was on about. So when you're picking it, obviously all those levers go up and then that eventually, obviously, because you're putting tension on your bolt. So you're forcing that notch there to move that. So when you're forcing that, when that eventually goes in all them knocks, knocks, notches on your levers like so, and then you've got your tension underneath there, you get the open. So that's how it works. Really cool little design that is. There's nothing to it. I'll tell you what, we'll strip it down even more. Let's take this off. This just comes off. It just comes off like that. Let's just move the Southampton out of the way. And then to get this out, it's a bit tight. So what you gotta do, 
is take your plate off the front here. I've stripped all this down because you can see underneath here was a bit rusty and I've cleaned all up underneath here as well. My next project I think is to make a key for this one because it's a really cool little lock and I've not come across one before. So you remove that off and, it, and then the bolt can come out. Because obviously before it was too tight but now you've got a lot of room there. Lift it up like so over that. Move your spring out of the way and then that's your bolt. Cool. The only thing I didn't take off was that spring because it's a coil spring. I thought if I take that off, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna lose its shape or something. I won't get it back on. So that's it. That's apart from that spring coming off, that is as much as you can gut it. So that's for Tony. I hope uh, it explained a bit more to you, mate, on uh, what you wanted to see inside. And if you've got any questions or anything, just leave a comment below. Once again, a big shout out to the Southampton Lock Picking Club and everybody else who's uh, got the stickers on the board. Anybody wants their sticker up there, just send me an email and I'll give you my address. That's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Try it a bit.